Exodus 11. Now the Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here. And when he does, he will drive you out completely. Tell the people that men and women alike are to ask their neighbors for articles of silver and gold. The Lord made the Egyptians favor favorably disposed towards the people, and Moses himself was highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. So Moses said, This is what ye this is what the Lord says. About midnight I will go through Egypt. Every firstborn son of Egypt will die. From the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the slave girl who is at her hand mill and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will be loud wailing throughout Egypt, worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites, not a dog will bark any, at any man or animal. When you, then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. All these officials of yours will come to me, bow down before me, and say, Go, you and all your people who follow you. After that, I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. The Lord said, The Lord had Moses. The Lord had said to Moses, Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you, so my wonders may be multiplied in Egypt. Moses and Aaron performed all these wonders before Pharaoh, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not listen, and he would not let the Israelites go out of his country.